we're heading into the final weekend of March Madness. Now, my southeastern Louisiana lines didn't make it, but we got some lineups. Who was here? Line, line up. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Represent. So, representing, representing. <laughs> but that team right there, the women's final four tips off tonight. Mississippi State is taking on Louisville. It's the second year in a row that Coach Vic Schaefer has led the team to the Final Four. And his daughter, Blair, is a starting point guard. But before coming to Starkville, Vic Schaefer was the head coach at Texas A&M. And it was there that they realized their family has a lot more to be thankful for than their success on the court. I just, I thank my dad every day for that. You know, being able to still be a family that could stand on that ladder without, you know, help. Um, and not be in a wheelchair next to the ladder says a lot about what we could get through. This celebratory moment on the court, all more meaningful for Coach Vic Schaefer and his family, because nine months prior, their focus was on a different type of battle off the court. Phone rings at 835. Dr. Cruzy called to inform me that my son's just been brought in. He's unconscious, unresponsive, and seizing. Where would I like him to send him? Vic and Holly Schaefer's then 14-year-old son, Logan, was fighting for his life after suffering an accident while wakeboarding at summer camp in 2010. I'm just thinking, oh, Lord, these years, it was tough. It was one of the toughest days ever. Logan underwent emergency brain surgery and was in a coma for four days. One time I was standing by his bed. I told him, Zana, I said, Logan, if you can hear me, give me a sign. And he did like this. And it kind of gave us a little bit of peace, a little bit of more hope, you know, wanting him to wake up so we can get this show on the road. It was a painstaking recovery. Logan's family supporting him every step of the way. Good. We got to the bottom. I don't think I've ever breathed that hard in my life. It was incredible. Again, another miracle. After 39 long days, Logan was released from the hospital. Good. Keep working. In a whirlwind year, Vic Schaefer returned to coach the Texas A&M Aggies that season and witnessed something special. For the first time in school history, the Aggies are the champs. Just felt like I'd come full circle. It had been uh, nine tough months at that moment to have my son back. And then to go through this with our team, I think you have to go through some hard times to prepare you for something better down the line. Stories behind the coaches and the players that we're going to be cheering for and watching the Final Four. And we're happy to say that Logan is fully recovered now. He graduated from Mississippi State a semester wow. early. And you better believe he's going to be cheering on his dad. <laughs> yeah, that's that's cool. That is going to be on the ESPN2 tonight. All four games. All four Two games. games. The other, UConn versus Notre Dame. Well, hey there, GMA fans. Robin Roberts here. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Lots of great stuff here. So go on, click the subscribe button right over, right over here to get more of awesome videos and content from GMA every day, anytime. We thank you for watching, and we'll see you in the morning on GMA.